Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to access RDS proxy from a Lambda function in AWS. Let's start by navigating to the VPC dashboard. Click on Create VPC, then give your VPC a name. Select a CIDR block and tenancy. I'm going to select two for availability zones and public subnets and zero for private subnets, NAT gateway, and VPC endpoint. Hit create VPC, then wait for your VPC workflow to complete. Confirm that you see two public subnets, one public route table, and one internet gateway. Click on security groups, then hit create. Give your security group a name, description, Select the project VPC, then hit create. Edit the inbound rules and add a rule for all traffic coming from within this security group, then hit save. Next, navigate to the RDS service, then click on create database. Here, I'm going to select standard create for MySQL and free tier for template. Enter an instance identifier, master username, master password, then select an instance class. For storage, I'm going to select 20 gigs and disable auto scaling. For VPC, I'm going to select project VPC and the security group that we just created. I'm going to select password authentication and disable backups and encryption. Hit create database, then give it a few minutes to launch. Next, let's navigate to the Lambda service, then hit create function. Give your function a name, then select Python as your runtime. Expand the advanced settings section and enable VPC. Select project VPC, both public subnets, and the my RDS security group then hit create. Note you must attach a VPC to your Lambda function to be able to access RDS proxy. Next, let's grab our database endpoint and add it to our Lambda function. I'm also going to add in my username and password, then save the Lambda function and its dependencies in a zip file and upload it to the Lambda console. In my Lambda function, I'm connecting to my database, then executing a select query, then printing the results on the console. Click on the test button, give your test event a name, then hit save. Hit the test button again to execute your Lambda function. As you can see, the output of the select query was successfully printed on the console. Let's head back to the RDS dashboard, then click on proxies. Hit the create proxy button, then give it a name. Select database one in the target group configuration, then click on create a new secret. Enter the same username and password from your RDS database, then select your DB instance and hit next. Give your secret a name, configure automatic rotation, then hit store. Go back to the RDS tab, hit the refresh button, then choose test secret. Expand the additional connectivity configuration and choose my RDS security group, then hit create. Go inside your test proxy and grab the proxy endpoint. Go back to your Lambda function and replace the RDS endpoint with your proxy endpoint. Hit deploy, then click on the test button. The reason we are getting an error is because the RDS proxy is still not ready. Give it a few minutes and when the proxy is ready, hit the test button again. As you can see, now we're seeing the expected output. Note the best practice is to get the credentials from the secrets manager instead of hard coding it in your Lambda function. 
There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.